it tonight at 7.30. But now in one short trip on your town. This week on your town, we've come to a seaside town. We're here in Dungarvan. And my first stop today is the country market right here in the middle of the town where every Friday a group of locals meet to sell fresh baking and beautiful crafts. Frances O'Brien is the woman in charge. Frances, how long has the market been here in Mungarvan? 60 years. 60 years? Yes. So this year is a big birthday? It is. And what's on offer here when people come in on a Friday? Everything is freshly baked by the ladies in town. Everything has to be fresh, nothing out of the freezers. And if it's vegetables, they grow them. Or the flowers, their flowers in their gardens and everything. Make it, bake it. Don't fake it. <laughs> yes. It's a great social outing for all the locals. A chance for them to meet up and catch up on some gossip. How many cups of tea did you go through on a Friday? Quite a few. To you, upon my knee, tea for two and two for tea. It would be great for television if you started a fight or something like that, you know? Or... No, they're too nice to do any fighting. Well, craft beers are becoming more and more popular all over Ireland. And in an industrial estate just outside the town, Cormac O'Dwyer runs the Dungarvan Brewing Company. Cormac, when did you start the Dungarvan Brewing Company? So we started in 2010, so we're coming up on our seventh year now in April. Cormac now produces five different beers, but started as a home brewer. I like beer. I like trying different beers. So the next step of that was make my own and see if I do something comparable to what I buy or just to try different styles. So tell me stage. So each brew we do is in and around a thousand litres. Um, That's a lot of beer. <laughs> That's some party, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't leave without having a taste. And as good as it did taste, I couldn't stick around because next, I'm heading into the centre of the town, where I'm meeting the Dungarvan Brass Band. They've been belting out the tunes for decades now. And William D is the band leader. He joined in 1979. Because it's such a wonderful thing to join, to be in a brass band, the Dungarvan Brass Band, uh, here in the town, sunny town east. Wonderful people, wonderful talent. <laughs> Bands have always played the music of the day, so we always play the pop music of the day. And when people look at the Mercury, they think of waltzes. Can you think back a hundred years ago, that was the pop music of the day? So we continue that tradition today. <laughs> so I don't think they'll be letting me join the band any time soon. Just up the road is the Beach House Gallery, which is a treasure trove of quality Irish art and crafts run by Pippa Sweeney. Pippa, this is such a beautiful shop you have here. Thanks, thanks very much. Yeah, we've worked very hard. Um, we started five, we did, well, we're in our fifth year now. And uh, when we opened up, we scoured the area, scoured the country for, you know, fantastic craftsmen, artists and uh, writers and so on, and we represent their work here. Pippa is known throughout the town for her beautiful felty, where she makes stunning characters and incredibly detailed pieces all out of wool. I mean, it is fiddly. But there's certain routines to it. It's like everything. It's like any skill that you learn once you know <laughs> how to do it. But it all starts from just rolling up little balls and adding balls to balls. Pure wool. That yeah. is incredible. And the detail of the colours of the jacket and everything. It took a long time. <laughs> she has been working on this for the last 15 years. <laughs> Feels like it. Finally, I've come to Helvig Head in the Dungarvan Bay to meet Waterford football team physio, Keen O'Concour, who runs the seaweed bats. I suppose traditionally seaweed bats have been, you know, uh, the kind of traditional Irish therapy of Ireland for hundreds of years. Growing up, I always went to Ballybunion in County Kerry, and I remember my dad would always go into the seaweed bats. I've never had a seaweed bat, so this is going to be a first. So what happens when I go in there? I get steamed first, is it? Yeah, so we, we have a seed wood steam box that you sit into, which opens up the pores, and we recommend you should go in for about five to ten minutes. And then we heat the seaweed, which releases all the oils, which is full of vitamins and minerals. And then we have a nice, relaxing, hot soak in the bath. And so, it was time for my very first seaweed bath. I've never entered a report like this before, but I can get used to this. 
We've had a great day. Thank you so much, Tom Garvin, for showing us your town. And now, if you don't mind, give me a bit of courtesy, will you?